All right, I'm on the road uh, heading from Wisconsin up to Alaska for my trapping adventure. Currently, uh, middle of nowhere, Alberta. I didn't do a video of all my gear layout before I left, so I'll probably do that once I get camp set up, but uh, just got a picture here, a uh, little video of my trailer. I'm a little bit overweight, uh, probably, but just some of the things I have, uh, all these back here are um, those old pl plastic mailboxes to use for Martin boxes. Got my big uh, otter sled here, a uh, trap basket, and then I built these two boxes. This is a three by three by two. And on this end, here's my bracket to put my flushing beam from uh, Badgerland, uh, Badgerland Trapping Supplies. And then this bigger box here, uh, six foot by three by two, that's got basically all my traps and snares in it. I've got about 160 traps total. This smaller box has all my, uh, it's got <clears throat> extra fuel, a little generator, chainsaw, propane, uh, stuff like that. And then uh, got the, uh, the snowmobile, the old skidoo. I have two stoves. Here's my old one. <clears throat> then I have a brand new one that I bought because I have two tents. I have my, my old beat up wall tent that I'm going to be using for skinning and uh, flesh and stretch and drying hides. And then my other, I just bought a new one that I can actually live in. And this tarp here is all of my uh, stretchers for various sizes and different animals. And then the truck itself is pretty uh, pretty loaded down as well. And uh, I built a little platform here so I have storage under there as well. And then my sleeping area, you got the nice nice beaver blanket with uh, quite a bit of padding under there. Super comfortable. And uh, might be a little difficult to get in for the average person, but luckily I'm extremely spry. All right, so I'll uh, I'll keep you posted on my travels, and once I get the, the camp set up, I'm planning to be up there. I still have about probably 1,500 miles to go, so it'll be another uh, two, three days before I get up there. All righty, thanks for watching. So I just uh, just crossed the border after uh, a week of driving and about 3,500 miles, and uh, just went through customs pretty uh, pain-free. Actually, going through customs getting into Canada wasn't too bad either. I was worried because I was bringing uh, some firearms, but I had all the paperwork filled out, and they were not restricted firearms. Uh, you know, no pistols, no handguns at all, and no like high capacity semi-auto, scary assault rifle, whatever. Um, but yeah, coming into the U.S., it was, it was no problem at all. They asked me a few questions, but <laughs> I guess I don't look like a, you know, a criminal. I can't imagine what somebody would smuggle into Alaska. Anyways, but uh, we got uh, the roads here are not not great. It's currently uh, 19 degrees, and I'm heading up to Tope, which should be about 80. There's a sign right there. 88 miles. So it's Sunday. So I'm going to spend the night in Tope, and then tomorrow morning I'll get my uh, all my hunting, fishing, trapping licenses. And then start setting up camp. You can see my cool little souvenir from the Alaska Highway a Rock. Get my new windshield. Alright, stay tuned and uh, I'll uh, let you know how the camp is set up. Alright, so I made it to Alaska. Uh, got my uh, my licenses went into Toke. Super easy process there. There's a lady named Tess that works there, very helpful um, and very friendly. So uh, 
stop in and see her if you're ever in Toke. So <clears throat> camp's about halfway set up. Got the snowmobile here. I shuttled stuff from the road, which is about, uh, well, you can hear a car come by right now. There's only about one car that goes by an hour, so it's not too bad. It's about uh, maybe three, three, four hundred yards. <clears throat> maybe a little more. I don't know. Uh, so I got my, my main tent set up where I'm living. And then I just built this frame for, I have another tent that's identical, but I don't have the frame for it. So I had to, to build one. And this, this tent here is going to be just for uh, skinning, fleshing, stretching, drying uh, any animals that I might catch. Talked to some local uh, trappers and some uh, officials at the t uh, fish and game office and stuff, and they said there's not a whole lot of uh, wolverines in this area, so that was a little bit disappointed. One guy's trapped here, you know, his whole life, and they they get maybe one or two per year. So there are some here, it's just not very many. So, but he said there is a fair amount of lynx and wolves and marten. So that's what I'll be uh, trying to get. I'm still going to put out probably 20, 30 wolverine sets just in case one one stumbles by. Alrighty, that's all for now. All right, got the camp uh, pretty much set up. Just went and got a load of firewood. Um, it's not as easy to find as you'd think. You gotta find a, uh, a standing dead tree or a tree that's recently fallen that's not too dead. Uh, so it's all rotten and, and punky. But uh, got enough here to last us probably a week or two. Got the main living quarters here. Standard. Still need a little bit more work. I'm gonna put some more tarps up on the the roof and maybe the walls because this is a thin nylon tent and as soon as the fire goes out it gets cold pretty quick so and it's it's going to get pretty cold here and then this is the uh the other tent i can park my snowmobile in here at night and uh <coughs> got another wood stove here and this is just going to be for skinning fleshing drying uh stretching the animals that i kept catch hopefully Got my uh, flesh and beam here. So when I was just coming back into camp with my load of firewood, I saw a grouse. So let's see. First kill of the of the trip. Nice. I'll eat the breast and use the guts and uh, wings for Martin bait.
Got another grouse. Alright, so uh, just uh, showing you a little bit of the inside of my tent here. It's getting dark, and uh, if you're wondering what I uh, eat when I'm out here for six weeks straight. Uh, basically, I'm not a real picky eater, and I don't like doing dishes, so for breakfast, I just make uh, two packs of the instant oatmeal. Uh, for lunch, if I'm around the camp, I just throw a couple uh, tortillas on the stove, warm them up, and then uh, slather them with peanut butter. I bring several jars of peanut butter, and then I uh, roll that up, have me a peanut butter burrito. And then for dinner, um, either a can of soup or, uh, or if I have some protein, some meat, and uh, like I just got a couple grass today, so frying up the grass right there. Haven't found any beaver or muskrat yet. That's something else I can eat. Uh, found a bunch of rabbits signed today, so I'll try to get some rabbits. And also, I want to try some lynx if I ever catch one of those. Alrighty. <laughs> Going to check out that beaver house. The wolf came up, and I don't have my rifle. I'm going to go get it. All right, so I went back and got the rifle. That wolf is uh, long gone. I'm up here in this beaver house now, it does not appear to be active. Driving through this old campground, and. Uh, those are those are grizzly bear tracks. Toes turned in slightly, uh, bigger than any any black bear. And you can see it's about one and a half, almost two times the size of my hand. So, unfortunately, my camp is about three miles from here. The good news is it's back the way the bear came from, not the way he's headed.